Hi, this is Bill. Today I want to show you two things. I want to show you how to create a document inside of Google Docs or now called Google Drive and I want to show you how to share it as well. So firstly, I'm going to sign into Google Docs. You can see that I'm signed in up here and I'm going to click on create right here and I'm just going to create a new document. Now as soon as this document comes up you're going to notice that it is in a new tab and this toolbar should look fairly familiar in that it's very much it has a lot of the same tools that Microsoft Office and um, it should be things that you recognize but a few things about working with a document the first thing you can do is change the title so if I come up here and click just on where it says untitled document it will pull up a new window and I'm just gonna call this a test document click OK changes my title now I can come in here and make create my document so put a little text in here okay so now one of the things that you should notice is that there's no save button Google Docs auto saves everything every change you make and right here it says all changes saved that means that everything all this text, the change in the title, all of that has been saved automatically. Saves on a regular basis. You don't have to worry about saving. Now, once I have my document ready, if I am ready to share this with somebody, I'm going to click right up here in the upper right hand corner, look for that blue box, click on share, and it's going to pull up a new dialog box. Now, here's the link to share, but right down here, I can add people's names, just putting in their email address. So I'm going to put in my email address so I can share it with myself um, with a different email than my work email. So I'm going to share that with myself. Click on share and you're going to notice that now I am listed here twice. I'm listed with my work email and I'm listed with my regular email, my Gmail account. So now this document has been shared with another person, another account, and an email will be sent to that account basically saying somebody has shared a document with you and then um, that other account will be able to access your document once you're done with this you can click done and go back and continue editing your document or close out hope that helps if you have questions please let me know